MLB The Show's coverage of Major League now, Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Garrett Cole is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Matt, I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole. Big, strong guy. Former first-round draft pick out of UCLA. 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched. He has a chance to be a no-hit type of pitcher every time he takes the mound. Into the box now, Andrew Benintendi. He will lead this one off today. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. And another foul ball. drive base hit to right no mistake what he was sitting on fastball middle of the plate kept his hands back stayed through the baseball and delivers a hard hit line drive in now Rafael Devers all even now two and two Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The three-two pitch. Full count still. Benintendi aboard here at first with nobody out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Still three balls and two strikes, the eighth pitch of the at bat. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Standing in now, Xander Bogarts. And he misses two and one. Hit out towards second. Torres at the bag. On to Voigt, an inning ending double play. One hits all they get. Sox zero. Yanks coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball, the show. Eduardo Rodriguez, the Venezuelan left hander, will be the man on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Eduardo Rodriguez has come a long way in a short period of time. Really needs to command the off speed pitch as a lefty that brings. A big arm and a big power fastball. 93 to 96 miles an hour. A good assortment of breaking pitches. The key for Rodriguez getting ahead with his fastball. In now, DJ LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Pilar is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Fielder, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez. He has seven hits in 31 tries. He's taken him deep once. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Labor Torres is on deck. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. 
to the plate now Torres and that one misses badly it's ball two and there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes Mr. Freddie Ferguson you know this is one of the guys behind the dish Freddie Ferguson Dan that the rookies are going to have a tough time with if you've played in the league for a little bit you understand that he's got his own zone I, you touched on it Dero. I think he rewards the veteran players not only pitchers but position players he makes the younger players he makes them earn their keep ground ball sent back up the middle and the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle and if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle so now to the plate Gary Sanchez count full three balls and two strikes. 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The Yanks leave one. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, J.D. Martinez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Three two pitch a swinging bunt out in front of the plate throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second that is fifth. the first baseman Nick Moreland striding in for Boston Mitch Moreland as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. fouled off lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch that was swing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second so bases are empty here with two gone and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate the one two Fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. And he fouls this one off. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Right fielder looking up, and that one is gone. On a two strike count with two away in the inning. Solo shot to right center as the Red Sox get the game's first run. It's one to nothing. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. At the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. In there, one and two now. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And it's fouled away. The next one two pitch. Red Sox on top in the early going. One nothing as we play the second. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. 
The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, and it's 1 0 Boston. Last half of the second set to go, and next, the dangerous power threat, Luke Voigt. Hard hit towards center. Bradley is right there, one down. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on Dita. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. In now, Mike Talkman. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Popped him up. Devers is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Red Sox one and the Yankees nothing. Now with the play, Christian Vasquez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The one two. Liner towards second, but an atom bowl right to him for the first down. Now in the box, Kevin Pillar. Kevin Pillar. Bases are empty, one man out. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and now trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Stepping in now, Andrew Benintendi. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Into the second deck and gone. Andrew Benintendi leaves the yard with a solo shot. And that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. That's what I love about baseball. The pitch before he looked absolutely foolish. But they gathered himself. Stayed with the plan, and the next pitch he goes yard. Every pitch is another chance. Into the box, Rafael Devers. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. We play two and a half. It's now 2 nothing Boston. Bottom of the third now. And set to go is the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. 
Now the one and one pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to left. And the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2-1 ball game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Standing in now, Clint Frazier. The ballman, two strikes. Count is one and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. So now to the plate, Brett Gardner. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. down the left field line and deep and that will end up a foul ball still a ball and two strikes neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again the one two well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Here now the 2-2. is looked at and the count moves full. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We played three full. It's the Red Sox two and the Yankees one. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He was the winner of the AL Silver Slugger Award at shortstop a season ago. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Digging in for his second at bat, J.D. Martinez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. 
Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations the these days. What makes it so yeah. effective? I think, Ooh. Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Working for the punch out and the offering. I wouldn't be surprised to see the runner moving here on that 3 2 pitch. With only one out, but this guy at the plate swings the bat really well, so it's likely he'll put the ball in play if it's a pitch worth swinging at. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Turned on down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And the payoff pitch. And it's fouled away. Good battle. Count remains full. Over to first. Cole. The dive, but he's back. Runner at first here. One man out. Fouled off. Swing by Moreland and a ball soaring to right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two run blast to straight away right field. And with it, the Red Sox have taken a four to one lead. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby deal. A ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super confident, and it's coming to fruition today. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. Very high, two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Hey. Called strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. In now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Left side, but well foul. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now four to one, Boston.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting the catcher, Gary. Striding into the box, Gary Sanchez. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Inside with the fastball and he works the base on ball. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bradley on the run. He gets there and that's the second out. In now is the Yankees DH Miguel Andujar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way up in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. And remember here, there's an open base at first, so a walk is not the worst thing that could happen right here. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Gotta think he was sitting fastball right there to let that hanger go by. He won't see that pitch again the rest of the season. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Stepping up to the plate, Gio Urshela. He went deep in his first at bat. And we'll see what he's got in store for us here. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on the show right after this. New inning set to get underway, and from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. The 1-1. One, one. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Gardner patrolling center makes the play one out. 
the right fielder, number five. Now at the plate, Kevin, Kevin Pillar. Pillar. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. You could pretty much book it that a fastball is coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Looking up is the left fielder. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a solo shot here to left center field as they stretch the lead to 5 1. Into the box now, Andrew Benintendi. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One out, nobody on. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Rafael Devers, the next to bat, has gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. Now the 2-1. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 5-1 Boston. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the outfielder Clint Frazier. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The 2-2. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Bradley moving in. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Inside, he misses ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. So a runner at first with one man gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball 
a couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now the 2 1. Fouled away. The 2 2. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Another try at 2 2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. At the plate, Glaber Torres. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is Bradley. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center, and it's a 5-3 game now. That's dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here, guys. Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ballpark in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, D-Row. But you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big gaps, but right field is so juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as we are all tied at five. This one has turned into a slugfest of Ruthian proportions. Seven combined big flies. Do you guys remember seeing anything like that in a while? Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. The 1-1 home. Back up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Now back, left fielder. Standing in now, Mike Talkman pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Bradley. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We're through five here at the ballpark and we are all tied five to five. Top half of the sixth about to get started and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball Xander Bogarts. One and two to the Boston shortstop. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up.
The one two. Misses ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now back. Ready once again, J.D. Martinez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Frazier is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The 3 2 pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. When a guy homers off you early in the game, now the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him Michael. do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. To first. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Red Sox. Our score holds at five apiece. Austin Bryce enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For the Red Sox. Number 31, Austin Bryce. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The 2 1 home is strike two swinging. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two two. Now that's popped up. Moreland is calling for it. One out. Now back, right fielder. Next for New Clint. York, Clint Frazier. Clint He's Garrett. hitless in his two at bats so far. Bases are empty. One man out. Drilled to the right side, and that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. The pitcher got the result he was looking for, change up down in the zone, gets him to hit it on the ground, but obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Stepping in now, DJ LeMayhew. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Pilar. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, and they take a 7-5 to five lead. Now, Labor Torres to short, hit hard. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. 
Bottom third of the order, 7 8 9, due up to start the seventh. It's the Yankees 7 and the Red Sox 5. Chad Green is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number 7. Number 57, Chad Green. All set for the start of the inning and in to hit next it'll be the left handed batter Jackie Bradley Jr. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game they're only down by a couple runs. You know that old slogan a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. The one two. Gets him swinging he struck him out. Stepping up now, Christian Vasquez. He flew out in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. Ball two. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box now, Kevin Pilar. Count still at one and two. Two out, nobody on. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi sent on the ground out to second. Quick throw to Torres to retire the side. Red Sox leave one. They're down seven to five. Ready for another shot now, Gary Sanchez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The three and one pitch. Taken, strike two. We got a full count. Three, two. And he fouls this one off. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And that's out number one. Now no Trying to pick things up where we left oh. off. Luke Voigt. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty D. A two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best. Now Voigt with a high fly ball out to deep left field. And it's gone. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second home run of the game as they open up an 8-5 lead. Ryan Brazier takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Brazier. Late now, Miguel Andujar. That's right there at the belt, one and two now.
Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Here now the 2-2. Mike Talkman will be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Sharp ground ball to third. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now that. So stepping in, Mike Talkman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to 2 and 1 now on the Yankee left fielder. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2 and 2. hard to the left side but foul here's another 2-2 two -two. a swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run will march on to the eighth it's the Yankees eight and the Red Sox five Adam Ottavino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, Dero, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. If you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Now the one and one pitch takes that one for strike two on the inside corner. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Drove that one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base.
Stepping in now, Mitch Moreland. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Scoring position at second with two down. Lifted the other way to left center. Gardner's after it. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. He pulls into second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. One ball and two strikes the count. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Yankees eight and the Red Sox six. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1-1. One, one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. slowly down the third baseline and the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here it's an infield single hey I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here had a lot of swinging bunts in my day As soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you you are getting it down the first baseline when you smell a knock I don't care what it looks like you are getting it down the line and there he goes towards second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back. Bases are empty. One man out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. In now, DJ LeMayhew. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Standing in now, Brett Gardner. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. The lead stands pat at 8 to 6. This Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 54. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He'll be the one to greet Chapman, who looks to put an end to this one. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. 
throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So digging in now, Christian Vasquez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. And it's two balls and two strikes now. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Down the left field line and deep, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time, and it's fouled away. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Next up for the Red Sox, Kevin Pillar. Last time through was a base hit. Two and one in the count of Pilar. Just low that time with the heavy sinker as it's ruled ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Hard liner to center field. Gardner is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Up for the left side. The left fielder. Andrew Benintendi. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Andrew Benintendi. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Set. Here's the 3-1. Now the Yankee Stadium crowd. 52,000 plus on their feet. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Last strike now for the Red Sox. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he left the door wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. A 1-1 home. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Fouled off. them down to their final strike here it comes for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment two down runners at first and second and he struck him out for out number three so that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. This one comes to a close today at an 8-6 final. The New York Yankees sent five balls over the wall to come out on top in this one. Garrett Cole is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
runs for this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, eight runs on 12 hits. No errors, they left six men on base. For the Red Sox, six runs, eight hits, no errors, 